the defining characteristic of the, of the, of the neoliberal crusade around the world, the, 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 I would argue, is, is the rise of precariousness. There, uh, the, the exclusion of, of, of large sectors of people from the uh, official economy, just shocked out of the roles. And what, what I do in, in this sort of alternative history of, of neoliberalism uh, is look at the key junctures where countries uh, were prescribed what's called economic shock therapy. Uh, and there was a, where, where the whole set of these policies were imposed all at once, like Russia in the mid-90s uh, is the classic example, or Poland in 1989. Um, and you know, what, what we know about these key junctures and it, it is that societies become much, much more unequal. This rapid fire selling off of the state creates a, an oligarchic class. Um, and it also just throws millions of people out, not just out of work, but out, out of the organized economy. And precariousness is the signature experience of the neoliberal project. Uh, displacement, whether from mega dams, uh, from export processing zones, the rise of casual labor as opposed to steady protected work protected by trade unions. Um, and that's why mobility, and when you add climate change and, and, and mass displacement because of climate change and a collision between weak public infrastructure, which is also a legacy of the neoliberal project, which sees investing in the public sphere and that kind of public infrastructure um, you know, as antithetical to the goals, you have this collision between weak infrastructure and heavy weather like we saw in New Orleans. And so you have millions of people displaced by extreme weather. So the precariousness, the mobility, these are the signature policies of, of neoliberalism. Now, I've talked a little bit about how this economic project is adaptable enough to be able to profit from cracking down on those mobile people, right? Um, that, that, it, that, that in a way, the, mar the market has very much been created by neoliberalism, the mass displacement, the need to look for better work, whether in cities, moving from countryside to cities, or country to country, looking for more work. Then, that, then, then you come up against the privatized infrastructure like Boeing's $2.5 billion virtual fence that is being built on the border between the U.S and Mexico, the largest homeland security contract issued to any company. Whether it works or not is beside the point. It is, you know, it, it, it is an economy, and this is such a resilient model that it can both displace the people, it can't find jobs for them, but it can profit from containing them. Uh, and Halliburton, of course, um, one of their more recent contracts was a contract to build detention centers um, in the case of some of a vaguely worded unexpected immigration influx, um, which I think is probably a reference to mass displa displacement because of some sort of uh, a natural disaster, probably is what the reference is. Um, so, so precariousness is the, is the signature effect of, of, of neoliberalism. And what we're starting to see in, in, and uh, it are more and more very interesting social movements that are organizing around the idea of precariousness. And because the women's movement has such a long history of organizing in sectors that, are, that, that have, were ignored by a predominantly male labor movement, um, it makes sense that what we're seeing is that women are at the forefront of these new organizing models. Uh, because the, the organizing of, of home workers, for instance, the organizing of sex workers, uh, the, the, um, the, 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 the drive to get um, housework uh, counted, in the work of Marilyn Waring, for instance, all of this groundwork that feminists have been laying is suddenly, I, I think, being noticed, finally, although not enough, uh, by some left-wing male economic thinkers and writers who are recognizing now that this organizing in, uh, of the precarious is, the, is, is our future. 